You wanted more god cards, and here they are. We have Obelisk the Tormentor with a new couple texts to maybe get his effect moving even faster. Against the new Earthbound Immortals. So, let's see if you can uh, face up against something a little more tame. But as we've seen, the new Obelisk support can straight up crush you in seconds. Um, yeah, give it like two or three turns and you might get like double obelisk attack for gain. Yeah, or just any of the support cards and just attack for 8,000. But I think I'm going to go first just to give you a, a chance. Downside is my hand is very much a going second hand. So I guess we're just going to set some cards down and the turn, move it over to you, see what you can do. All right. All right, so I'm going to activate first activate my Pot of Prosperity. All right. Which will allow me to banish six cards from my extra deck. Excellent. I'm choose some cards that I'm not going to think I'm going to use. Definitely none of my Earthbound cards, that's for sure. Fair enough. And take a look. Before this video, Mario was like, what's the best pot card? And I'm like, there, there's a lot of debate for that, I guess. There's... Yeah. People still run the one that banishes 10 from your deck. It's probably still one of the most popular. I'm actually going to grab the field spell. Okay. You know, if people could, they'd still be running Pot of Greed. <laughs> yeah, because that says no downside as opposed to all the other ones. Yeah. That would never be bit unbanned. Mm-hmm. All right, so playing down the Earthbound Prison. Very good. Just so I have that ready. I'm also going to play my Quick Launch. Get me a... You get me the Rocket Tracer. We'll see how this but, plays out. Because I don't know if my deck style plays against yours very well. So it might just be coming down to like boss first boss. Yeah. Activate. Which will allow me to get the harmonic synchro fusion to my hand. Okay. Then I will normal summon Silver Rocket. Uh, what can I bring out with this? Okay. Um, oh, I'm guessing that the reason why the harmonic synchrofusion is... Yeah, so they have to meet both requirements. Okay. Because mm. I can actually bring out... So the thing about this new card is I can bring out both a synchro monster and a fusion monster using two monsters for the same costs. That's really good. Yeah. But I need, but the fusions require specifically the the earthbounds. So even though I can, I meet the requirements for the synchro, I don't meet the requirements for the for the fusion. So, and before you ask, yeah, I'm running full. I'm full. I'm running full numbers of both. So, <laughs> yeah, I mean, in a deck that you don't need to, the extra deck for other things, it makes sense. Well, we got the yeah. synchro out here at least. Everything's in attack mode. Okay. Uh, oh yeah. So, I'm just going to attack with what I have right now. Wonderful. Um, you doing that will... Let's see. Yep. Sounds good to me. That will let us bring out the Guardian Slime. Ooh, I should have attacked my other guy first. Eh, hindsight. How can you... I mean, sure, you knew you were fighting an Obelisk Sky card deck, but... I honestly forgot this card existed in it. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> yeah, it's fair. Uh... Then, of course... He just matches your attack points with his defense. Well, hmm. I, if I I forget if I attack into it, you gain it just matches. Nothing yeah. happens. Yeah. I forget. I think if you attack with multiple monsters into it, scaling up the power, you can break them. But obviously not in this current situation. Yeah. So I do not currently have a means of getting myself an obelisk, the tormentor, but. We do got Egyptian God Slime, not too shabby. And we might as well pull out this Reactor Slime. He can just get tokens on the field, start getting things prepped for when the main event comes into town. Mm-hmm. Uh, can't go into anything else too flashy here, but I can just do some battle now. Line Walker, can he, can he really be used to go into some other things? I don't know, let's just take out the bigger threat, protect my life points, because I don't know what's happening here. And obviously, Reactor can switch out whenever he wants. So he goes down. Ah. So, 
Select the card on the field destroy. Yeah, let's get rid of that god slime. Excellent. Yeah, very much should have kept him alive for a bit. Oh well. Ooh, that's not a good draw. <laughs> We're both playing a little slow out the pocket here. Yeah, no, it's it's that situation where I just searched out this card. It's gonna be useful. Next draw. Oh, it's the exact same card I just pulled to the hand. That's why you gotta search oh. the cards that you need right now. All right, since you go for the attack, I suppose. Well, let me take a look here. Sure, why not? We're gonna use Magical Trick Mirror. And I'll snatch up that Pot of Prosperity. As well, oh, as, so you could use it. Yeah, that's a card useful to me for sure. Is it always gonna be useful to me with uh, Trick Mirror? No, but today it is. Oh, well, I guess I'll destroy one of the slime tokens then. Absolutely, go for it. Wasn't so All much right. about the damage, but me just wanting to get that metal reflect slime. And thin out the deck a little more. Okay, more tribute material. Some of the newer stuff I phased into the deck. But let's see if I can get myself an obelisk with prosperity. So I will banish. I am going to banish six since I'm in a heavy search right now. And we're just going to, you know, get some of these out there. I don't care. And that's a no, no, no. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Very good choice of going for six rather than three. Sometimes in decks that, such as like dinosaurs, when just about any card I have can add to the combo, um, I go for three on Prosperity. On this, I was very much looking specifically for Obelisk the Tormentor. So, here he is. Doesn't matter how I order it, things are about to get wild. I will now use Metal Reflex Slime. We all know the gig. Metal Reflex Slime comes into play. And then, of course, switches out for another... Egyptian God Slime. Who can be tributed to bring out Obelisk the Tormentor? Now, can I do some big stuff here? That's just going to be used for later. So, I think we are just going to bring out Obelisk. Plain and simple. Perhaps later, we'll get the addition of uh, more tributes to do some big things. But very obviously, well, I don't need big tributes right now. Um, but maybe I could do some things here. Um, destroy that and inflict. No, I think I can just go for game right here if I just rush it. So we're going to do Monster Reborn. Um, we're going to, you know, this is actually a bit of a baller play. We're going to grab Reactor Slime and activate it off Monster Reborn. Have I ever done that before? I don't think so. I don't think you have, no. Yeah. Obviously now we can activate our Obelisk the Tormentor, wipe your field. But more importantly, we've been sitting on Soul Energy Max this whole game. Oh. <laughs> So that does that. I thought it was going to burn you for more, but that's okay. I don't uh, think it can finish me off this turn, then. And if it does, inflict 4,000 damage to your opponent. Yeah, I guess not. Okay. Well, what I can do is, of course, just attack you. And do most of it. So we'll do that. Oh, it's because I'm having everything because of Pot of Prosperity. Right. That comes back to bite you. Yeah. Which, you know, it's what let me get the obelisk to get into this position in the first place. So I have no complaints. Um, but of course, well, it means I didn't get the OTK that I had everything set up to fire off. Uh, normal mm -hmm. summon obelisk the tormentor? I don't think I will. Obviously, amazing effects that I can do with uh, soul energy max. But I got other plans, including this card I'm setting right here, in case things get a little dicey. And I'll end my turn. Okay. Ooh, okay. So, I'm going to activate. I could special summon my Earthbound Prisoner Stone mm -hmm. Sweeper, but that's not what I need it for. So, I'm going to activate it, which will allow me to add a different Earthbound Mortal Immortal card from my deck to the hand. Okay. And I will choose to add Earthbound Prisoner Groundkeeper. Okay, free special summons with that guy. Yeah, Which, I said it last time we used Earthbound, effect. but I still haven't made my own Earthbound yet. Yeah. Like, with just this two-card combo by itself, it feels like it's just waiting for big things to happen. And then I'll bring out the Stone Sweeper. Yeah, why And not? now that I have both, I now activate my Harmonic Synchro Fusion. Using both Groundkeeper and Stone Sweeper. Okay. This will allow me to bring out 
Earthbound Servant Geo Kraken and Earthbound Servant Geo Gremlin. Big monsters. This card, when this card comes on the field, I can add a field spell straight to my hand. Oh, I have another monster special summon. Oh, it's, is that like if and when I special summon? Well, I don't have anything from the extra yeah. deck anyway, so. Sure. Uh, okay. This will allow me to get to my hand. Let hmm. me see. I'll just get an. I'll just get the other Earthbound uh, field spell. Okay. Then I'll also activate Earthbound Servant Geo Gremlin. Yeah, I wasn't looking at his effect. <laughs> I'll get rid of the slime token with his effect. Oh, you get to choose, right? I could either gain life points equal to that monster's attack or destroy it. Oh, um. Well, in that case, uh, yeah, let's let it ride then. Uh, go ahead. Enjoy your 500. All right. Okay. Now, let's see. This is allowing me to do that. Oh, okay. That's why. But I'm going to go into my battle phase now. Interesting. I'm going to use the Kraken. Mm-hmm. I'm to destroy your reactive slime. Well, you know that won't happen. So. Yep. But just to limit your field a little bit more. Okay. <laughs> hand me a free reflect slime. Sure. Destroy the slime token. I guess. Oh, can I not do that right now? Of course not. Okay. Then I activate the effect of Earthbound Servant Geo Gremlin. Allowing me to fusion summon during the battle phase. Okay. This will allow me to bring out the ultimate servant of the Earthbounds. Earthbound Servant Geo Gresha. Oh, that's not what I was hoping for. Okay. Ah, V battle changes the attack to zero. Beautiful. And I get to destroy all cards your opponent controls. All cards? Yep. Man, I was being nice to you here. I shouldn't have. <laughs> I had Soul Crossing ready to wipe everything off the field at any point in time. <laughs> yeah. All right. We'll, oh. let you, we'll let us see the cool Earthbounds then. Yeah, all right. yeah, I could have just picked them off all off the field, but I wanted to see what you were going into. And then by the time it was battle phase, it was too late. That's going to be funny. I right, will normal summon tell us a little angel. And uh -oh. let's see. Discard some of the monsters into the graveyard, which I have no ability to do right now. End my turn. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. this is a nice little combo I came up with this deck. Okay. So, I'm activating uh, Fires of Doomsday. Classic if you need some free stuff to tribute. Then, using these two, bring out a set of monster with that. Thanks to the effect of the Earthbound Prison allowing me to have an additional summon thanks to the effect of uh, Earthbounds. Mm-hmm. But I will just attack your monster once again. Reducing yeah. attack point to zero. Couldn't use and my destroying. other soul crossing. That was unfortunate. Wonder why. Woo, plenty of stuff that's getting destroyed anyway. Do you like this uh, ultimate fusion for the earthbounds? <laughs> yeah, for sure. I'm just wondering why I couldn't use soul crossing. Do um, you have anything oh. that prevents me anyth anyway? Uh, addition the discard is under. No, hmm. interesting. Unless maybe it's no, I don't know how. Okay, fair honestly. enough. But maybe it's just timing messed up then. The Earthbound Immortal. I'm not gonna try to say his name because I actually could pack up who. That sounds right to me. That's what I would have said. You got it. I'll let you choose. The fusion 
or the actual Earthbound Immortal. Maybe with the classic, it's not going to get the chance again for a, for a long well, time. Actually, is funny, it? funny enough, actually, if you read Geo Gresh's effect, um, when this if this card in the opponent leaves the field because of an opponent's card, special summon one Earthbound monster from your deck or extra deck, meaning okay, so an that's... Earthbound Immortal come back come out with that. Mm -hmm. Now, are the Earthbound Immortals better or worse than the new Fusion ones, though? Some of them are like this guy. This guy is just a personal favorite of mine. Some He's not the best what? one. Uh, some of them are good, like okay. uh, like the bird one. If it deals damage to your opponent, destroy all monsters your opponent controls. Kind of deal. Mm -hmm. Well, and if this guy, ones, obviously, yeah. Mm -hmm. And they all can attack directly as well. By the way, they can all avoid your mon your opponent's monsters and attack directly. Okay, so it's situational. At least run one one of the uh, classic ones in your deck, I suppose. Yeah. But that is to say, I don't know if we can search, the, bring these guys out right away because at the same time, uh, you didn't exactly get rid of them for me to test that. <laughs> no. Uh, and if I did, it would have just been by attributing him. Which so. is a way of leaving the field by opponent's card effect. Yeah, I guess it might be. All right. Well, this is the opposite right. hand that I had last one. Obviously not opposite, but I don't like it. We'll see what I draw. The harmonic synchro fusion. Mm hmm. Activate pot of prosperity. Lovely. Six. Get rid of the same set of cards as before. Why not? A bit of a rough draw for Obelisk over here, but our sixth card will save it. I can actually get rid of polymerization now, I realize. Yeah, fair enough. I will add to the hand the Stone Sweeper. Sure. More searches available. There we go. Mm -hmm. Now, what's my level 9? Do I have a level 9 Synchro, actually? Because that's what's going to come out as, right? No, it's a level 5, so it comes out straight at level 8. Okay. Uh, <laughs> yeah, just going to do that. I'm going to special summon my Stone Sweeper. Gotcha. Oh, yeah, because you have the field card. Great. No, actually, this one just, if I have a card in the field card zone, special summon. <laughs> That's what I just said. Why did you try to correct me? Oh, I thought you meant no, because the Earthbound also gives me an additional summon. That's why. It's, I said because you have a field card, and then you were like, no, because it's kind of as I have the field card. <laughs> I thought you meant I thought you meant the additional summon from the uh, the field spell. My first. goodness. <laughs> I am sorry. <laughs> um but yeah, there we go. Do that. I would have used harmonic synchro fusion, but without the battle phase, it isn't like the best optimal thing to do turn 1. Okay. Because then you could potentially use both my monsters to tribute into obelisk. So. You bet. So I will do this though. Just get my Stone Sweeper as well, right there. Layer of defense. I like it. I like yeah. um, Geo Griffin on the field as your uh, turn one play. Just because, all right, well, at least if I go down, I'll bring you with me, you know? Yeah. Um, so I think I have a hand that actually can play right here. We're going to Foolish Burial Goods. Oh, heck. I could do that through both turns? Nice. Is that just you're putting another card on the field? Brilliant. Um, Although now, this is kind of bad if now you get I'm gonna the, add uh, exchanging souls to my hand. Thank you. I was about to say. <laughs> nah, imagine if I could. <laughs> Not quite. Yeah. But he does get his effect again since right. he was special summoned. Uh, I'll just allowing. Hit him. Pop this. Why not? Though to be honest. I already have both, so I'll just get a second copy of Earthbound Prison just in case you destroy it. Lovely. Though, um, I don't know if Obelisk has any spell destruction card. I don't think raw. Speaking of raw, we're going to go ahead and bring out the Disciples. And I should have an additional... So no, I should have waited to use my Soul Energy Max. Okay, well, that was a misplay. This is the worst hand in Obelisk history, funny enough. I end my turn. Yeah, because I get the uh, I get an additional free uh, tribute summon 
once I play my soul energy, but it doesn't work retroactively, which I was curious about, so I did it anyway. Mm-hmm. Well, what I will do now is activate my harmonic synchro fusion. Jeez, this is gonna be bad. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah, this that card really was missing. Do I, anything. I didn't know I was supposed to add this in my last version because it didn't appear with Earthbound, but it's the fact that it can specifically search them out. Yeah. Get out a second one. Huge. And of course, this card go effect goes off, or if it's special summon, add a field spell to the hand, any of them. So I'm just going to add the old Third one. Oh, uh, the old one. Okay. Yeah. Well, this one's from last year or the year before, I think, so. Okay. So old. Yeah. All right. So with that being said, I'm going to activate this card once more. It's so good. And get the Stone Sweeper back out. Normal summon my Earthbound, uh, my Earth Groundkeeper. Just so I can synchro these two off mm -hmm. to go into the Servant Gremlin. Yeah, Gremlin. That's not all, though. I Normal summon my Silver Rocket. <laughs> Why not? Send banish that away for Ooh. darkness metal, just for more attack points. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I think that makes the difference here. So, uh, Gremlin will attack. Yeah, even if I did play properly and got my uh, obelisk on the field, you could have probably just dropped him or target destroyed him. Um, I'll do this again. Magical Trick Mirror is not a great card, but it's an obelisk themed card, so we use it. And then the uh, servant, the griffin, will attack. Mm -hmm. Or let me see, is griffin spell with an O not traditionally? I forget. Yes. Okay. I did doubt it for a second, but then I racked my uh, fantasy nerd brain, and yes, that is the okay. usual way. And then, I, of course, activating. I could finish you off with darkness metal, but uh, you know we got to <laughs> using using the gremlin and the geo kraken. I bring out Geo Gresha, who finishes you off. I didn't even need the Darkness Metal Dragon. Mm -hmm. Man, I really want to go again just to like, because I had a dead hand two games in a row, but I also don't want to take it away from the Earthbounds here, you know? So I mean, I was able to do this on my second go around with it, so on yeah. the second turn. So mm -hmm. this actually shows how the promise this deck has. Yeah. Um,. You know, yeah, we gotta go for a third one. I, I just wanna. I think you can still take me on. You know, we'll see. Yeah. Okay. What do you think about the Earthbounds after seeing that though? They got the plays. It's just I still see lots of weaknesses there. Things that you could maybe add in different cards to facilitate against. No, things that I could just out draw a usable hand and facilitate against. <laughs> so oh, yeah. I had three obelisks there, Mario. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> Oh, you started off the duel with three obelisks? No, I start off with two and a card that searches it. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I'm not going to lie to you. I start off with two, but it was effectively three. How's your hand look now? Um, well, it's a mix, so I think we're okay. It's a hand where um, my first one was all the stuff to get obelisk. My second was obelisk itself. The third is all the stuff that's good if obelisk is already out. So we'll see how it plays out. I will need to get past turn three to let this hand fully unfold. So if you can do the same things you did before, which looks like it's happening, then you're good to go. That yep. line walker is consistently in your hand too. Oh my goodness. It's because one of them allows me to get the, the field spell. The field spell allows me to have an additional normal summon mm -hmm. with them, my monsters. And then if I have the other monster already lined up, that just allows me to get the last piece I need. Yeah, very much so. And I'm just going to go all out and see what you can do. I'm going to use a Harmonic Synchro Fusion. Using Groundkeeper. Just be careful and... about leaving three monsters on the field. If you yeah. can control it. Because you know what my deck is capable of. I don't have the card at the moment, but you never know. You could draw into it right now. Yep. Get the Earthbound Geoglyph. Uh, Okay. 
Yeah, if you can't help it, you can't help it. But mm -hmm. still, up, I kinda, like one in ten I kinda, shot right now. Yeah, I kind of needed a to set up some kind of field against you. Yeah. No, I like it. Because I know if I leave a dead field, so the the three cards are necessary. That's for sure. Okay. If I could use all three, I didn't want to sacrifice a single one to try to uh try to do that. Alrighty. So I'll end a turn right there. Ah, uh, it's not the right card. Okay. Well, what can I do? I can go aggressive and uh, reckless. That sounds fine. So I'll set a card. I will normal summon Reactor Slime. So he hits field. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna activate this. What does that do? Uh, same thing as before. Either give me life points or destroy it. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Of course, you get the life points. If it's on a bigger monster, then it might. Yeah. If it's on <laughs> Obelisk, then I'll have to. Well, even I kind of need Obelisk too, so it's hard to decide. Um, but certain monsters, it does matter. Play, play against a Dark Magician deck. I'll let Dark Magician hit Graveyard all day. Oh uh, my god, what if you had what if you had the Dark Reaction to Mochi on the field? And I just got kept getting burned as like, oh, you won life once? Here you go. Wait, no, that's poison to me. Yeah. So I got Breaking Ruin God, which is kind of wicked oh, right now. Okay, yeah. Um, because that can all go down. And then when Breaking Ruin God does all that, it does something else that I forget. Um... Okay, just burns you for a little. Okay, you got Brotar out there. Very good. Um, let's see, what does he do again if he's special summoned? Target a face-up monster on the field, discard, and then add a monster with the same type and attribute. Well, oh, I wasn't even thinking about Reactor Slime. Well, if you got him, you got him. Yeah... I'll add to the hand the rocket tracer. Okay. Oh, never mind. Yeah, let's do it with your own hand. Good, good. I will now. Let's see. Can I use this to great effect? Um, negate one effect monster you control. Lovely. And destroy lots of stuff. I think we'll just set this card down. We'll use it reactively. And we'll set this card down. We'll use it reactively. And we'll just attempt to, uh... Well, we... We'll attempt to clear out Brotar. If you want to set up... Oh, well, you can attack with Obelisk? No, he used his effect that turn. Oh, right. Also, fun fact. Mm. Bye, Obelisk. Because oh. I summoned him by way of uh, Breaking Ruin God, rather right. than an and actual if, tribute And summon. if a God card is special summon, it destroys itself at the end. Mm -hmm. Alright, well, Pot of Prosperity. So, let's see what I you can... You know I'm just going to take it from you, use it. <laughs> not you this time. <laughs> no, not this time. I don't have the trap this time. <laughs> Simple yeah. as that. Alright, card I need, card I need, card I need, card I need... Oh. Mm. Yeah, if you have the two materials in your hand, then sure, but I don't think you do anymore. I do not. Yeah, not after going okay. hard on the first round. Classic overextending, which, you know, you weren't sure I, what the right call to make was. Yeah. Okay. I will say against a uh, obelisk deck focusing on the obelisk support, um, for those, you know, planning their, you know, counters in their future. I think you're safe to play it light on your turn one. Because the only way I OTK you is either if I have just a godly hand. Or I have my trap already set. Which I can't, you know, do on a turn two game. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because you saw, like, if Obelis does his, like, effect by himself. You know, well, then he can't declare the attack. And if he, you know... Is summoned by a super easy card while well, I don't get to keep him around to do other cool things. So there's a lot of ifs that Obelisk needs like at least turn three or four to win the game, I'd say. He can OTK on turn three or four by all means, but he needs that little he needs the trap cards ready to fire off. Yeah. Alright, all right. so I'm gonna add I'm gonna add the polymerization to the hand, but for a reason. Cause you have some material in your hand. That's weird, but I like it. 
Or at least you think well, you have material in hand. No, because I'm going to set down this card. Normal summon my rocket tracer. Activate it. Oh, that's right. He can only destroy face-up spells, can he? Darn it. Well, none of my other cards were gonna really do anything either. Let's be honest. Yeah, okay. So we lose the prison. But I can bring out the silver rocket. Okay. Then, using these two, I can bring out the Geo Servant. Oh, okay. Griffin. Yeah, I never thought about it. I guess he just doesn't need anything specific. That's, he doesn't know. That's handy. Yeah, so that's why I still keep those cards in, because they can still bring out him. Mm-hmm. I like it. Mm-hmm. Wait. Oh, did you banish all my other ones? That's right, you did, didn't you? I did. What did I do? You banished all my other Earthbound cards. Okay. Oh, yeah, I did. All the monsters currently in your graveyard. So whatever you sent. Yeah, I was planning on using him to bring back, like, one of my other Earthbound monsters, like the Kraken or something. Uh-huh. I just wanted to... I knew I was losing my obelisk, so I wanted to get the juicy effects off as soon as I could. Um, could have mm. gotten one more juicy effect off. It just wouldn't have been super juicy. Plus, I can do it in this round anyway. So I think I will do it in this round. Breaking Ruin! Uh -huh. Oh, wait. It's fine. I want to be able to kill you next turn still. So, uh, activate Reactor Slime. Yeah. Go ahead. Have a free attack on me. I don't... I think both our decks kind of love going second, if we're being honest. I mean, they both just need a little time to cook, I think. They need to get oh, you into got a the... second one? <laughs> yeah, I said it earlier, so... There's two in the deck, all good to go. You ain't getting past this line of defense. I, I can activate them um, when I play the Reactor Slime anyway, but I just want to reveal that to you for the funsies. Yeah, I was going to... By the way, Xylo? Mm -hmm. I was going to use the polymerization I had set if I was if he didn't banish him to to bring out the uh the ultimate fusion monster. <laughs> okay. Well I opened up a two breaking ruin gods. It can also bring him back from the graveyard. We all know it's gonna be gone at the next turn though, so let's capitalize. Fist of fate Um destroy all spells and traps my opponent controls. Yes please. Ooh, protection, lovely. And you get to go through that. Nice. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's a fist. Oh. Our canceled by effect of Fist of Fate. Yeah. Oh, no, and I just you need 2,000 destroy... more attack. Yeah, and you can't destroy a Geoglyph. It's immune to the destruction, I believe. Okay, so that's why your brain wanted to uh, add protections to the new field card so quickly. Yeah, because uh, while there are any level 10 monsters in the field, since you have an obelisk, neither player can target this card with card effects, and it cannot be destroyed by card effects. Okay. Fortunately, it doesn't need to be destroyed. Obelisk obliterate! Yeah, I think both our decks prefer going second, huh? Because... Yeah. If I was going second against with that hand, oh, that would have been so good for me. Mm -hmm. I think Obelisk can go first and just put Obelisk on the field, but you need a lucky hand to make it actually be able to defend itself. Um, yeah, regardless. Like my, mon my monsters can't get over it. Yeah, you guys did some work, and although I had bad hands, I'm not going to say they're, like, lesser than Obelisk after that showing. So, mm -hmm. good stuff. Get that poly out of your deck. We'll go again. Get something else <laughs> and see how it really goes. But hopefully you guys have enjoyed. Let us know what you want to see happen with Earthbounds next, because um, I'm still working on a deck for it. Mario's got to go up against some more of my medium decks with it and see if it can really just take that next step up. So, subscribe to the channel so you don't miss it when it comes, and we'll see you next time. See you, folks.